What's up guys? Thanks for joining me. So <clears throat> is Kat right here? So it is winter right now and I have been struggling a little bit trying to find a project for us to do because I love being outside and with winter it's just been so cloudy and just really not a great winter so far. But I was wandering around my house and I found something. This is so wonderful. Let me show you this. It's not a shield, this would be a clock. This clock is something I bet built many years ago. I went to one of those classes where you go there, they have all the supplies, they kind of walk you through it, but it was on my wall years ago and I just took it down when it wasn't working and I just set it aside. So I'm really glad I found this. Now we can just put the hands on it. It'll be very simple and put it up in my green room. So let me explain a little bit about this clock. So this is the old clock. This is the battery source and the hands that were on it, they started not working very well. So I just took them off and threw them away. So I went on Amazon and I bought this new little clock kit. It's got these really, really cool looking antique hands to it. And honestly, you can make a clock out of anything. All you need is the battery source, the hands, the numbers, and something you can put a hole through. So on this little kit is the instructions. It's like six, six very simple steps. So this is the back of it. It's the battery source. Got this pointy tip to it. You stick the pointy tip through the hole. There we go. There's that piece. All right, let's get this clock put together. So first off, we put the washer. Oh, it's so teeny if I can get it up. Put the washer on there. We're gonna put the nut. We'll tighten it just a little bit. Then the most important part about this is making sure the piece in the back, the piece that hangs it is just even with that 12. So we'll hold this. I'm gonna tighten it pretty tight by hand, then we'll use the crescent wrench. Okay, I got that on pretty tight, but let me make sure this piece is straight back here. Yeah, that looks good. Let's finish tightening it. Oh, this thing is so little, gotta be so delicate with it. Okay, that is on there good. Let's get these hands put on. Okay, next we'll put on the hour hand, then the minute hand. I don't have a second hand, but we got this little tip to hold it all together. Little end cap. We'll put the hour hand, just gotta push it real softly. Get the minute hand. Once again, put this one real softly. You don't want them touching each other, but very close together. Then this little end cap. Teeny tiny hole right there, just stick it through, push it in. And there's our clock, all assembled together. Okay, well, we got the clock all put together and I have planned to put this in my office which I call my green room. And let me show you why. I don't think I've ever shown you this room before, but this is where I do all my YouTube editing. This computer used to be my husband's gaming computer, but Honestly, he just wasn't using it a whole lot, so I took it over. But I have this empty area on my green wall, which I'm going to put my clock. Okay, let's make sure this lines up correctly. Right there. Okay, I missed. Uh, 
Now that looks awesome. So we're all done with the project. This is really great because this will really add to the wall right there. And I hope you guys are just not as cooped up as I am because with this winter, I just have all these plans to do all these fun projects in the spring and summer. So I hope you join me. So remember, work hard, play hard. We'll see you on the next project.